Arya Samaj Sanskrit, Arya Samaja Arya Samaja, Noble Society, Hindi, Arya Samaja Bengali, Arya Samaja Punjabi, Arya Samaja Gujarati, Arya Samaja is an Indian Hindu reform movement that promotes values and practices based on the belief in the infallible authority of the Vedas. The Samaj was founded by the sannyasi ascetic Dayanand Saraswati on 10 April 1875. Members of the Arya Samaj believe in one god and reject the worship of idols. Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India in his book, The Discovery of India credits Arya Samaj in introducing proselytization in Hinduism. Foundation The Arya Samaj was established in Bombay on 7 April 1875 by Dayananda Saraswati born Mool Shankar in Kathiawar, Gujarat 1824 died Ajmer, 1883 an alternative date for the foundation of the Samaj is 24 June 1877 because it was then, in Lahore when the Samaj became more than just a regional movement based in Punjab. Vedic schools. Between 1869 and 1873, Saraswati began his efforts to reform Orthodox Hinduism in India. He established Gurukul Vedic schools which emphasized Vedic values, culture, satya virtue, and sanatana dharma the, essence of living. the schools gave separate educations to boys and girls based on ancient Vedic principles. The Vedic school system was also to relieve Indians from the pattern of a British education. The first Vedic school was established at Farakabad in 1869. Fifty students were enrolled in its first year. This success led to the founding of schools at Mirzapur 1870, Kasganj 1870, Chelazar 1870, and Varanasi 1873. At the schools, students received all meals, lodging, clothing, and books free of charge. Discipline was strict. Students were not allowed to perform murti puja, worship of sculpted stone idols. Rather, they performed sandhyavandanam, meditative prayer using Vedic mantras with divine sound, and agnihotra, making a heated milk offering twice daily. The study of Sanskrit scriptural texts, which accepted the authority of the Vedas, were taught. They included the Vedas, Upanishads, Aranyaka, Kashika, Nirukta, Mahabhasya, Ashtadayi, Darshanas. The teaching was open to girls and to children who were not of the Brahmins class. Dayanand had difficulty finding qualified teachers who agreed with his views on religious reform. There were few textbooks which he considered suitable. Funding was sporadic, attendance fluctuated and students did not achieve desired standards and so some schools closed soon after opening. The last remaining school at Farakabad closed in 1876. Adi Brahmo Samaj In 1872 and 1873, Dayanand travelled and came to know some pro-Western Indian intellectuals including Naveen Chandra Roy, Rajnarayan Basu, Dabendranath Tagore and Hamendranath Tagore who were actively involved in the Brahmo Samaj. This reform organisation, founded in 1828, held many views similar to those of Dayanand. The organization promoted monotheism and the eternality of the soul, and the abolishment of the hereditary caste or varna system and uplifting people through education. Dayanand disagreed with the Brahmo Samaj about the proper position of the Vedas. Dayanand strongly held the Vedas to be divine revelation. Topic. The Light of Truth Lecture Series After visiting Calcutta, Dayanand's work changed. He began lecturing in Hindi rather than in Sanskrit. Although Sanskrit garnered respect, in Hindi, Dayanand reached a much larger audience. His ideas of reform began to reach the poorest people. In Varanasi, after hearing Dayanand speak, a local government official called J. Kishan Das encouraged Dayanand to publish a book about his ideas. From June to September 1874, Dayanand dictated a series of lectures to his scribe, Bhimsan Sharma. The lectures recorded Dayanand's views on a wide range of subjects. They were published in 1875 in Varanasi with the title Satyarth Prakash, The Light of Truth. <laughs> New Samaj 
While his manuscript for Satyarth Prakash was being edited in Varanasi, Dayanand received an invitation to travel to Bombay. There, he was to debate representatives of the Vallabhacharya sect. On 20 October 1874, Dayanand arrived in Bombay. The debate, though well publicized, never took place. Nonetheless, two members of the Pratana Samaj approached Dayanand and invited him to speak at one of their gatherings. He did so and was well received. They recognized Dayanand's desire to uplift the Hindu community and protect Hindus from the pressures to convert to Christianity or Islam. Dayanand spent over one month in Bombay and attracted 60 people to his cause. They proposed founding a new Samaj with Dayanand's ideas as its spiritual and intellectual basis. Topic. Ahmedabad debates On the 11th of December 1874, Dayanand arrived in Ahmedabad, Gujarat on the invitation of Gopal Hari Deshmukh. There, he debated with interested parties. Raikat Arya Samaj On 31 December 1874, Dayanand arrived in Raikat, Gujarat, on the invitation of Hargavind Das Tavarkatas, the secretary of the local Pratna Samaj. He invited topics of discourse from the audience and spoke on eight. Again, Dayanand was well received and the Raikat group elected to join his cause. The Samaj was renamed Arya Samaj Society of Nobles. Dayanand published a list of 28 rules and regulations for the followers. After leaving Raikat, Dayanand went to Ahmedabad but his audience at a meeting on 27 January 1875, did not elect to form a new Arya Samaj. Meanwhile, the Raikat group had become in a political row. <laughs> Bombay Arya Samaj On his return to Bombay, Dayanand began a membership drive for a local Arya Samaj and received 100 enrollees. On 7 April 1875, the Bombay Arya Samaj was established. Dayanand himself enrolled as a member rather than the leader of the Bombay group. The Samaj began to grow. <laughs> After Dayanand Dayanand died in 1883. The Arya Samaj continued to grow, especially in Punjab. The early leaders of the Samaj were Pandit Lekh Ram (1858–1897) and Swami Shradanand Mahatma Munshi Ram Vij (1856–1926). In Punjab, the Arya Samaj was opposed by the Sikh-dominated Singh Sabha, the forerunner of the Akali Dal. Some authors claim that the activities of the Samaj led to increased antagonism between Muslims and Hindus. Shraddhanand led the Shuddhi movement that aimed to bring Hindus who had converted to other religions back to Hinduism. In 1893, the Arya Samaj members of Punjab were divided on the question of vegetarianism. The group that refrained from eating meat were called the Mahatma group and the other group the cultured party in the early 1900s the samaj or organizations inspired by it such as jat pat todak mandal campaigned against caste discrimination they also campaigned for widow remarriage and women's education the samaj also established chapters in british colonies with an indian diaspora such as south africa fiji mauritius suriname guyana and trinidad and tobago prominent indian nationalists such as lala lajpat rai belonged to arya samaj and were active in its campaigning the british colonial government in the early part of 20th century viewed the samaj as a political body some Samajists in government service were dismissed for belonging to the Samaj in the 1930s, when the Hindu nationalist group, the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh, grew in prominence in northern India. They found support in the Arya Samaj of Punjab. Topic: <laughs> Pandit Lekh Ram and Arya Samaj in Punjab. Pandit Lekh Ram was an Arya Samaj leader who was a contemporary of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Ram contested Ahmad's text, Barahin e Ahmadiyya in a work entitled Takzib e Barahin Ahmadiyya, a falsification of the Barahin e Ahmadiyya. Ram was assassinated on 6 March 1897. 
Members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community claimed that this was in accordance with the prophecies of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. Ian Talbot of the University of Southampton wrote, Relations grew particularly bad between the Aryas and the Muslims. Serious violence broke out in 1897 when Pandit Lekh Ram was assassinated. Lekh Ram's greatest influence was in the northwest of Punjab. He had in fact joined the Peshawar Arya Samaj in 1880 and rose to prominence first as a missionary and then as editor of the Arya Gazette. At first he had limited his attacks to the Ahmadi movement of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, but he increasingly attacked Orthodox Muslims as well. His pamphlet, Rizala i Jihad Yari Din i Muhammad ki Banyad, a treatise on waging holy war, or the foundation of the Muhammadan religion, caused a considerable outcry when it was published in 1892. Until his murder by a Muslim five years later, Lekh Ram continued to stir up animosity by his vituperative writings. <laughs> Arya Samaj in Gujarat The Arya Samaj of Gujarat members were missionaries from Punjab who had been encouraged to move to Gujarat to carry out educational work amongst the untouchable castes by the Maharaja, Sayajirao Gaekwad III. The Gujarat Samaj opened orphanages. In 1915, the Samaj lost its following to Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Reconversion in Malabar In 1921, during a rebellion by the Muslim Mopla community of Malabar Indian newspapers reported that a number of Hindus were forcibly converted to Islam. The Arya Samaj extended its efforts to the region to reconvert these people back to Hinduism through shuddhi ceremonies. <laughs> <laughs> Language issue Arya Samaj promoted the use of Hindi in Punjab and discouraged the use of Punjabi. This was a serious point of difference between the Sikhs, represented by the Shiromani Akali Dal group and the Arya Samaj. The difference was marked during the period immediately following the independence of India and the time of the Punjabi Subha movement demand for a Punjabi-speaking state. Topic. Humanitarian efforts Arya Samaj was a charitable organization. For example, donations were made to victims of the 1905 Kangra earthquake. The Samaj campaigned for women's right to vote, and for the protection of widows. Topic. Contemporary Arya Samaj Topic. Arya Samaj in India Arya Samaj schools and temples are found in almost all major cities and as well as in rural areas especially in north region of India. Some are authorized to conduct weddings. The Samaj is associated with the Dayanand Anglo-Vedic DAV schools which number over 200. The former Indian Prime Minister Sharan Singh as a young man was a member of Arya Samaj in Ghaziabad. A branch of Arya Samaj was established in 2015 in Angle district in the state of Odisha. Topic. Arya Samaj around the world Arya Samaj is active in countries including Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, Fiji, Australia, South Africa, Kenya, Mauritius and other countries where a significant Hindu diaspora is present. Immigrants to Canada and the United States from Eastern Africa, South Africa, and the Caribbean countries form Arya Samaj for their communities in many Canadian cities including Toronto. Most major metropolitan areas of United States have chapters of Arya Samaj. <laughs> Core beliefs Members of the Arya Samaj believe in one almighty creator known as Aum who is mentioned in the Yajur Veda 40 to 17. They believe the Vedas is an infallible authority. The Arya Samaj members reject other Hindu religious texts because they are not revealed works. For instance, they believe books like the Ramayana and the Mahabharata are legends of historical figures, which secondarily have been used as reference to supreme beings and avatars. The members of Arya Samaj reject other scriptural works such as the Bible, and the Quran. They reject the worship of idols. 
The Arya Samaj promotes the equality of all human beings and the empowerment of women. Practices The Arya Samaj members recite the Gayatri Mantra, meditation and make offering to the Holy Fire haven. The haven can be performed without a priest in acts of personal worship. Members celebrate Holi the start of spring and Diwali a harvest festival and the victory of good over evil. Arya Samaj advocates a lacto-vegetarian diet and in particular, the eating of beef is strictly prohibited. After a death, Arya Samaji will often conduct a haven and collect the ashes on the fourth day. Topic. Diwali The Arya Samaj celebration of Diwali is typified by the celebration in Suriname. The festival celebrates the victory of good over evil. A vegetarian fast is kept. The Gayatri mantra is spoken while oil lamps are lit. One dia lamp, which is of a larger size has two wicks crossed to produce four lights, one in each direction and is lit first. The smaller lamp has one wick. The recitation of the Gayatri mantra occurs in front of a fire altar lit with sandalwood. A lamp is kept in every room except the bathroom and restroom. More lamps can be lit, which can be placed arbitrarily in the yard, living room and so on. Holy Holy is celebrated as the conclusion of winter and the start of spring to sow the land and hope for a good harvest. This day is marked by colors and song it does not require specific prayer or fasting, however some people keep a vegetarian fast on this day. The Arya Samaj does not associate holy with a particular deity such as Vishnu or Shiva and in comparison to some interpretations of the festival, the Arya Samaj version in more sober and is as per the four Vedas. See also References Topic. Further reading Topic. External links Official website Arya, Pratiniti Sabha, America Arya Samaj Jamnagar Arya Samaj Pandit G.